Hey folks, Jason Ballas with OutdoorProductReview.com. Um, this is going to be a little how-to section, so it'll be really quick and simple for you guys. Today all we're going to do is we're going to set the knocking point here. This is Expedition's new bow this year, the Eccentric. But we're going to set the knocking point on this bow. And uh, we're going to cover that for you. So it'll be real simple, real fast, but we'll go through the process. Tying in a string loop, setting the knocking point. And then we'll move on some other things of how aligning like this new drop away that we're using, the Ultra Rest HDX from uh, QAD. So this will be part one. We're just going to go through setting the knocking point. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need, you're going to have to have a bow square. I like the Saunders bow square because it's sort of round. Um, some people use the old aluminum type, which I don't even think I have here anymore. Um, but this is what I do every time before I go out for a review. I set up the bow at the house and I put all the lasers on it. So a quick thing with this is you have two holes, or some bows might even have one hole here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to get your bow square. I like this one because it has some notches on it that sort of help. But you should have nothing on your string, no metal knocks. Take all that off because uh, sometimes that might not even be right from the manufacturer. But key thing is you just clip it on your serving like that and it holds. All right? And it does help too if your bow's, if your bow's square. So if you're using a bow vise, uh, I suggest that you clip the bow vise right on where you're going to put the knock at. Or if put your level on right where you're going to put the knock at. And set your bow vise so that your bow's level because that makes it even with your eye. So simply done. Matter of fact, might need to go more. And this sometimes can be tedious, but you'll get it. All right. Set your bow level. Take your leveler off. Go ahead and put your uh, your bow square on there. And what I like to do is get eye level right with the two holes that I showed you earlier. And I set up my bow square so that this round circular portion is basically covering the holes. I might be able to see just the top, just the top of the hole over the, the top of the, the bar. It looks something like this. With that done, this is the simple part. And I'm going to actually move the, I have a couple cameras here I'm working with, but I'm going to move this to where you guys can see. I get a lot of people asking me, how do you tie in a, a, a string loop? And it's a very simple process. What you need is you need some string material. This I'm going to use orange because our rest this year for the review is orange. Uh, not the same color, but we're going to be using the same rest on all the bows. So I'm going to use orange, and you need to have a lighter. All right. So I got grab the lighter from inside, and uh, I, I used to have a bunch in my gear, but you know when you do a lot of string loops, you do go through fuel. All right. So. You want to make sure one of the sides is really frayed, something like this. And I'll just show you real quick if it'll focus. But you just want to sort of have it really frayed. Then you burn that end. Just so it, just so it sort of gets, you know, sort of mushrooms out, if you will. And you just make sure it forms a nice mushroom head. Heat it again just a little bit. And then tap it on a hard surface so it sort of fans out. And there you go. Real simple. Nice little mushroomed head. So that'll hold. So as you see here, I have the two lines on this bow square. All right, I'm going to have the top of the loop on the inside of where a, like a metal knock would be. Um, I don't even think I have a metal knock, but wherever a metal knock would be, it sits basically right over this line here so your arrow would go underneath of it. You're going to do the same thing with your string loop. Key thing is, is you want to take, sort of fold it like this, and you take your loop, put it through there, push that one inside, and just make sure that the ends don't come out. So in this, this one, see how it's like that? All right, so don't want too much length. It'll pull out, you know, when you, when you really tighten it really hard, it'll pull out. But you want that to be set, moving it right at the top of this line here. And then all you have to do on this 
is you can get a pair of needle nose pliers and you take your extra string here and you just wrap it around and that, that allows you to to grip it if you will put both hands on it and then pull until it's really tight and it doesn't matter if this if this uh, bow square comes off because now you know where your knocking point is so once you have that off you really tighten it really hard just pull in there and tighten it pretty simple all right so that's the first portion for it now the second portion I'll either leave it in my bow vise and tilt the bow vise down or if you have a bow press you that's not going to compress the limbs because you don't want the string being real loose um, that way you could just sort of hold it vertical but I just want to show you for here so you see on this end we have this side here with the loop that comes around the string All right so on this end what you're gonna do is since you want the you want basically the loop to be like that on that side of the string so you want to opposite so they pull against each other if you have it to where both loops are on the side it can actually loosen over time and then you'll be out of luck so all I do with this is I run it around the front, bring it through the middle, okay? Then instead of like running around the front with this one, I just bring this one around the back. And there you go. Let me show that to you real quick again, just in case, because a lot of people sometimes they get a little confused on that. All right, so we take this, I'm running it around the front. So my loop's on the back side here the loop that held this main string in place. I'm going to bring it around the front just like I'm wrapping it around like I'm serving something. I bring it around the front, I run the end of the line through just like that. All right, and you want to leave a little room and then I just grab a hold here, take this and wrap it back around the back side again. And there you go. All right, it's set. So, you can tighten that a little bit, but just be careful because you're going to need, you'll cut the string here. And I have something that I use, it's called, it's called the boomerang tool. There it is right there. And it's just, I use it for fishing and everything. It's like razor sharp, little like uh, thing. It's got a light on it. So if you need a light, you know, it's great for fishing and whatnot. But all I do for that is I'm going to take and I'm going to cut probably about right there, maybe a quarter inch. Maybe a little bit more because I want to fray it out. So I just cut that. And this thing cuts amazingly. All right. So then you take your, your tool that you use to cut. Or if you're using scissors. Or you can take a pair of needle nose like this skinny needle nose. And you want to basically puff that out so that you'll be able to make a nice mushroom piece on the end. And you can do that by tapping it. Okay. That's simple. Take your lighter, if you can get them to work. Take your lighter and you burn the end. So you just push it, make sure it's got a nice bubble on the end, which this one does. All right, and most of the time I would have my bow in a vertical, but you could do it like this too. Take your needle nose pliers and stick it in there. And you sort of twist, but you want to make sure you keep pressure on the top one because you don't want the top part to miss. They do have wrenches that you can buy for the string loop that goes on both sides and something comes through the middle. I've always used a pair of needle nose pliers. Um, you know, I tie a lot of string loops on, so it probably wouldn't be bad to get a set. But however, this works just fine. So get it in there nice like that. Turn it sideways and then you open making sure you're keeping pressure on the top loop because that's where your knocking point is so you open them and there your string loop set now you can take and you can put an arrow on there once you get a rest on and draw it back a few times make sure it really tight it, it's locked in it's not going to move anywhere so that's set so there you go so that's it that's how you tie a, a loop in you get your knocking point set and uh, you get it set with the the bow's center and that's what these, these bolts are here where your, your rest actually screws into. That's on the center of the riser. So that now the, now the knocking point is set perfectly for you to go ahead and install your rest. So we'll see you guys on our next tip that's coming up here next where we're going to go ahead and install the rest on this bow. 
But if you guys want to win one of these rests, make sure you go to Facebook and like our Facebook page because we're going to be giving some good, great gear away this year uh, from releases, rests. We might even be able to give a bow away. Let's make it happen. So get on over there and uh, make sure you like the page. We'll see you guys here very soon.